we're going to be looking at the Neki K132A in the K series and it's in the Abbey's Den purple so that's really <laughs> lovely because they do come in a range of colours actually and you do want to check them out it contains your purpose foot a buttonhole foot it's got a button sewing foot a zip foot and um, a quilting bar 32 utility and decorative stitches which you can see so that's great and automatic needle threader needing that nowadays one step buttonhole and adjustable width and uh, stitch and width fantastic but let's just open the box As soon as you open the box is um, the instruction manual that's how important they say it is so i've actually got to go on a school run so while i sit outside the school have a little look through this book learn some things about it and then get back to unboxing the rest so the first thing that you get when you open the box is your instructions and i have had a good look through it and I am actually quite pretty impressed with it because it gives you really good details um, here with uh, zip insertion. It teaches you how to use the buttonhole foot, how to do a button sewing. So you can do a centre zip, a side zip. You can do uh, gathering. It shows you free motion embroidery using the darning plate. So lots of people ask me, on these basic entry level machines can we do free motion embroidery yes you can if you have the right accessories so they've given you a darning plate with this but let's get it out and have a look a little bit closer in here we've got the foot pedal there we go hot off the factory floor it smells like a factory <laughs> Right, we've got a cover there, so very similar to the one you have with the other machine that we bought from Aldi. Now, it fits beautiful and nicely. First impression, because I'm looking at the back, I can't really see, but look at this lovely design, it's so curvy. Necky have um, produced a range of these machines in different colours it just feels so soft these hand wheels feels just lovely and it even has an arrow to show you in which direction to take it um, I can see on the top here I've got the tension dial I've got the um, zigzag width and I've got the stitch length just tilt it forward they've got you the diagrams to show you how to thread up the machine and again, you've got your horizontal threading system here. So, in the machine, I wasn't convinced with the other um, necking machine that I bought that the stitching was from the actual machine. But, they've uh, made sure this one is because, in fact, the thread's coming out of the bobbin. So, ah, that's interesting. I wonder if they, they do that on all machines. Is that something that the, they're going to do game changes in how things are done? So just pull the extension play, uh, arm off so that you've got a nice free arm there to do your uh, sleeves. And inside there, we've got our accessories. This is so pretty. I am loving the design on this. I'm really, really smitten by it. Whether it's practical or not, we'll see. Um, because it means we've only we've got a smaller area there but when you're doing sleeves and things this curved design here might prove to be really uh, lovely it's got the side thread cutter it's got what we always need that extra thrust thrust lift so look at the presser foot it lifts up a little bit extra so that when you need to put thicker thicker things through like quilts you can do that um so the bobbins come out it wasn't oh no that's me putting it um so i want to take this off again it doesn't come off easily no it does right and this is called the front loader the front loader 
because when I flip this down, you can see that the bobbin is loaded up in there. And get this, they have the directions of how to load the bobbin in there. This would make life so much easier for so many people. I have so many machines in to repair simply because the owner has been using the bobbin in the wrong way. Now on this machine, they've already filled a bobbin for you, I'm guessing. So I'm going to pull it out. So all you need to do is just pull on this spring here, make sure it's fully opened and then grab it because that way the bobbin won't fall out. As soon as I let go, that uh, clamp will release the bobbin. And there you, ha there you have it. So they've filled the bobbin up for you They've placed it in there for you, so you cannot get this wrong. And they have used, for sure, um, the thread in this. So while I was disputing whether it was the actual test stitches used on the machine, on the oldie necky that I picked up, um, this was attached to this thread, proving that this machine has definitely been used um, to create these stitches, which are showing me the tension is absolutely spot on. I shouldn't really get to see the orangey red um, thread from the top on the bottom, um, but you do make slight adjustments, but these look perfectly fine to me. These satin stitches you do in these cases um, when you get a greater density. So it's actually not too bad. So for me, I will have to remember that I will always have a little bit of the top thread coming through to the bottom, but otherwise the tension has been set for me on set on four, which is the highlighted number. And the machine should be working perfectly fine as it is proven to do here. So that's really good. I'm just gonna lift up that spring handle, make sure it's clamped the bobbin properly. What I'm going to do, just so I don't forget because I've not read because I've not read the instructions, but I have. Um, I know what some of you like. If I pull on that thread, the bobbin thread goes anti-clockwise. So I must remember that. So for this machine, when I pull that thread, I want to make sure the bobbin goes anti-clockwise. Okay. All right, so that's how the bobbin works, which is fantastic. So do you know what? I'm going to say this now to all the other sewing machine companies do that. If there's one thing you can do to help your customers fill in the bobbin, put it in for the, in the machine uh, for us, and that is going to make a lot of your customers really happy. From a sewing teacher to a manufacturer telling you what we need, I'm telling you, you are going to make yourselves a very happy customers just by doing something as simple, innovative, not rocket science as that. Uh, it takes time, it takes money, but I mean, you're charging plenty for the machine. It won't take you a couple of minutes to do uh, a test sample stitch like this with the thread already in the machine. By golly, I love it. So Neki are already... Uh, um, stars in my eyes okay let's have a look at what's in the bag so all this will be listed in your um manual so it tells you there what you have and what you can buy with your machine so let's have a look at what we have so first up is the free motion darning plate now that darning plate will go onto the machine um, and you can't lower your feed dogs on this machine, but what you can do is cover them up and do some free motion embroidery. Okay. You get some oil. Always need to put a drop of oil into the bobbin area at the very least. Got some spare needles. These are size 14. Size 14 converts to um, 90. Okay, so we have a piece of felt that goes in the machine and um, two is it two spool caps we've got two spool caps there that's for the wider thread and that's for the narrower thread eh? we have a quilting bar or an edging guide we've got a zip foot
we have a screwdriver and there are two sizes there that one's used for the needle screw and that one will be for the needle plate um, we have a brush at the end of our stitch ripper our seam ripper there we go it's been called all sorts of things lifesaver okay our button foot which goes, I always put it upside down, it goes that way. It has that lift there for a button to sit there. We have three extra bobbins. We've got an extra spool pin there that will sit on the top of the machine and that will give us the ability to do twin needle stitching. What would have been good if we got a twin needle with this? That would have been really helpful. And a one step, love it, one step buttonhole that you just pop your button in there at the back set your machine press go bob's your uncle love it okay so those are the accessories that we have with the machine you can buy other things now with the darning plate what you might want to consider buying is the free motion darning foot so your optional extras are your satin stitch foot, which is just your regular foot, but see-through, which allows you to be able to see your fabric as you edge stitch it, your overcasting foot. There's a hemmer foot, now that's for rolled hem. Um, cording foot, which is great if you want to do gathering. And you've got a blind hem foot, the one with the screw on there. Your darning embroidery foot, a gathering foot, your quilting foot, and that's really useful because it's exactly a quarter of an inch, which is what you need for seam allowances with a uh, quilting foot, and then a walking foot. The cable needs to be long enough for me to plug it in, in the wall at the back, and that cable's gone out of the way. And for me to be able to sit this machine at a position which I like, I like to have a little bit of space in front of me so that I can set my work there and then have my pedal on the floor so the cable to the floor of the pedal 116 centimeters what i have to do is make sure i sit the machine very close to the edge or reasonably close to the edge it's long enough but um not quite as long as i would like it so that's a personal preference i've avoided necking because i have been in under this misguided myth that because it's bought in a supermarket, it's going to be tat. Well, actually, it isn't. I was so impressed with the other necky that I am thrilled to want to give this a go. Now, it weighs seven kilograms. That's a good weight. It's um, um, This has got a metal case, and it's not that, that lightweight, but it is lightweight enough to take to classes. And it's lovely and compact. It's a beautiful small size, and it's curvy. The dials on here, they move so smoothly, and they go round. They don't stop halfway. They go round and round. They clip beautifully. The thing they boast about this machine is that it has an accurate tension setting. Now, looking at there. Um, stitch out it's brilliant I mean they've used two contrasting colors and the stitch out looks fantastic on both sides and it's an entry-level machine you've got to remember now at 140 pounds to 280 you are looking at this being a sold-out machine it, so at the 140 pounds price bracket where I've seen it in the various uh, places it is a brilliant buy it's got a lot of features um, and I've made sure I've given them a really good um, play so I've put a zip in a bag I've tried some free motion embroidery um, and I've tried some stitching on some thick fabric um, and even made sure I could do two three layers at, uh, of stitching at a time this is hand this machine has handled everything I've thrown at it so far so well so I would definitely recommend it for an affordable beginner machine something that you take to class something that you are a hobbyist and um, you might want to have a reliable machine that you just pull out and use. The only downside to this machine, I would say it's a front loader. I can't think of any other downside. Please help me to keep my videos and opinions and reviews independent. 
and the way to do that is to comment below subscribe if you're not a subscriber help me to get word out for all, everybody for birthdays and for christmas we want to make sure that you get a good buy so that we can uh, tell the industry what we need rather than them telling us what they think we should have take care have a lovely day see you soon